All right, guys, you already know what it is. It's another cast with me this time with Rush versus Quickly. I'm really upset that this guy didn't make it in to K to ASL this season. I almost said KSCM, but ASL, SSL, whatever you want to call it. He didn't quite make the cut, and I was getting pretty excited that he would. I thought that he might just barely be able to slip by. He ended up getting taken out by a Terran. I can't remember who. But that's a little bit disappointing, you know. We've been following Quickly's rise, and he just didn't quite play up to his caliber. I think that is typically the case when it comes to people who have never qualified for the ASL or SSL before. It takes, a, it really does take a certain type of person a calmness of nerves that not everybody has. A composure that is not easy to master. And I'm sure that quickly we'll get there at some point, but until he does, we're going to keep watching some of his ladder games here and there and watch his development. Because as long as he stays on the path, as long as he continues to practice and doesn't quit, I'm sure we'll see him in an SSL sometime in the future. Now, his opponent, Rush, a regular in the SSL, is going to be showing us some kickback action. We've got those two bases here on high ground, two bases over here, and I'm really looking forward to a nice long TVT or TVP potentially. Give us a full idea of what this map might be like in this matchup because we haven't really seen too many of those on this map so far. And there are a lot of Terran players and a lot of Protoss players in this season of SSL. Not as many Zerg players as you might expect considering how dominant they've been, considering how many they've won recently. The number of Zergs is quite low. And so it's likely we're going to have quite a few TVPs on this matchup. Those are just some of the reasons that I picked this game. So strap yourselves in, kick back and relax. Let's go through this one together. A Citadel of a Dune here in the top left hand corner. Did Rush see that? I'm actually tempted to go back and just look and see if he did. It seems like he might have, although the SCV was pretty far away and they do have slightly less range on that vision. Did he actually see that corner? No, I don't think he did, guys. I don't think he was quite able to see that now. Yeah, this is still hidden to Rush's view. The cybernetic score is here, but it's not spinning. So Rush is suspicious. SCV. Marines and Vulture are going to fight back this Dragoon. And I'm just keeping Quickly's vision off for a little bit longer because I want to see if and when Rush finds out about this. He's going to see no Nexus. And he's got to be getting suspicious now. Look at that Cybernet score not spinning. He's going to look for it. And there it is. Templar Archives over here. Quickly trying to pull one over on Rush. But his eyes are wide open to the fact that DT Rush is on the way and i don't think this can get a whole lot of damage what do you guys think probably this is just going to get shut down but will that be the end for quickly or can he m find a way to maneuver himself out of this difficult situation on this map first dt is about to come out that'll prevent rush from really moving out of his base for some time can run around with vultures and lay mines but it'll be hard to push until we have a reliable source of detection on the map so maybe quickly can leverage this one or two early dts to keep rush in his base so that he can get multiple more nexi up and he's already gone for two nexi right after this with only one gate and no range pretty ballsy here and if he runs into d he runs this dt into mines it could backfire massively so let's see what happens with this dt zoom right in on this and see if it makes its way past or what ends up happening to it oh my what 
the heck just happened there? That first mine really didn't do that much damage, did it? It's 125? But what did it do? 50? How the heck did that happen? That seems a little bit ridiculous if you're asking me. Now, there's a bit of a gap in the wall here. Or at least it looks like there's a gap in the wall. But in fact, there is a DT standing there. You will have to back away once that's been found. And that second mine, what? That, that thing popped up and then the DT just ran away and it never connected. That's so insane. Generally, two hits from a mine will kill a DT reliably. But in this case, this DT, I mean, he's got an angel's blessing. He's got a guardian on his shoulder. Somebody is looking out for this guy in heaven. It's pretty insane. Just going to stand out here. Still 70 health. He's almost fully healed after eating that mine directly. That is crazy to me, guys. And we're going to go predictably into Arbiter from this spot quickly. Not adding on any more gateways. He's gone three Nexus into Arbiter off of one gateway and no range. It's not even done yet. And the Arbiter Tribunal is finished. The first Arbiter is on the way. This is an insane build from Quickly. And not insane in like, oh wow, what a cool, crazy build. This is like, you are out of your ever-loving mind here. This is... Like, what are you even thinking at this point? But it's actually going to end up working out. So maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Rush is... Rather than pushing across the map, you know, using the information that he gained from spotting that Dark Templar to just do some sort of push across the map, he's decided it's better for me to just get this third base out as quickly as possible not take any damage from the DT and have a really strong late game. And has he played into Quickly's hand? I think they, they kind of both have played into each other's hands, really. And I, I feel like we're getting into a very even situation. Quickly never should have been able to get away with all of what he's done here. But Rush has also taken a pretty big leap in terms of his economy. He's really jumped forward into a very sweet economy with 50 SCVs. We are having one of the heaviest macro games we've seen on Kickback, especially in this matchup with both players just powering like crazy. Eight gateways now, suddenly from one gateway to eight gateways in mere minutes. He's finally gonna go into his robo as the first Arbiter pops out. It's such a quick Arbiter here. This is a crazy quick Arbiter. We've already almost got that upgrade here as well. The Stasis upgrade on the way for factories. Now going up to six. Rush probably going to jump up to eight or ten in a moment. So both players just exploding. Yeah, look at how many factories are being added on the... Amount of macro on either side is kind of crazy at this point. One probe going to head out. Does want to take another base here. Can't be sitting on the same number of bases as your opponent for too long as Protoss. Although if you're teching up this hard, it's not quite as much of a problem. If you were just going gateway man, you always got to stay a couple of steps ahead of the Terran player. Going to lock one Dragoon into there. Kind of an interesting move. Just in case there was some sort of vulture drop. At least he'd have something to help clear that out. But Probe seems to want to go up to the top right hand corner now. He's going to send a Zealot ahead of this. Because he's still waiting on that first observer. He just wants to use that to potentially run through any mines that might be in the way. He's going to send the Dragoons after to support against vultures. But Rush has been pretty passive when it comes to the vulture usage he's not really preventing quickly from taking more bases and quickly can start snagging up bases as his name implies very very quickly going up to six and maybe even seven bases with these three here in the top right hand corner 
A lot of probes being transferred right now. These all base, all of these bases are 1,200 minerals except for these mains. So they will run out quite quickly. And so Rush is also going to start to feel that pressure to expand here pretty soon. One Vulture going to run by getting just a probe here for now. Zealot making its way down to the bottom right. Going to clear some mines. It's like this was actually a, uh, the transfer what ended up going back because the Nexus wasn't quite finished yet. But he will get those to work now. Rush really building up here at his natural. He's already got the science facility done and his plus one's not even finished yet. So you can see how well prepared he is to just immediately grab that plus two. We have an Arbiter uh, coming in yet. I think we've already got recall because we're getting the Kaidaren core. Rarely see that upgrade anymore. Hardly ever get to watch uh, Arbiter play at this level uh, in 2024, but you very rarely ever get to see those upgrades all finished up. And a drop will be coming out here for Rush. Now, is it going to get spotted by this zealot That's so close is he actually gonna see it looks like just barely oh i think he just saw it on the very edge of his periphery vision but i don't think that's going to be quite enough to alert quickly to this fact and so this will probably get off in the top right hand corner although there are cannons and some dragoons waiting here to potentially shut this down and so i i think it's unlikely that we'll end up seeing a lot of damage come from that Rush going to head out on the map to create some uh, chaos here as that drop comes in, but quickly immediately responding. Kind of an interesting way that this entrance works, right? We've got two different paths. And so if you mine this whole path and then you push this direction, there shouldn't be an easy counterattack. Like if you put a bunch of mines here and you put like two tanks here, you could push this way pretty safely. Thanks up on high ground over here. Going to deal with this cannon. There's only one cannon in the mineral line. So five or six vultures could be serious trouble for these probes. However, two dragoons are going to help to soften those up. Only two vultures will end up making their way forward. And so the cannon will deal with these before too, too much damage has been done. Just two or three probes will end up falling here and quickly will continue to mine without too much more delay. Dropship has been damaged. I'm not sure exactly when that was hit, but it's got those two tanks hovering over this position. EMP is on the way as Rush moves to take another base. His third and second are about to mine out. You can just see how much quicker these high ground bases mine out. That's a lot of mines. He's really waiting for that. He's expecting that a uh, big recall. And on these high ground bases, which is definitely where you want to go with a recall as the Protoss player. And so that's where he's setting up. He's not really setting up in the main because it's pretty easy to get your army through here. But getting up into these bases is tough. So he's really focusing on making sure those areas are covered deeply with mines. Now, I'm not sure how many Arbiters exactly we have out here now at this point. Oh, that dropship's probably going to end up getting picked off. That dropship is in a lot of trouble right now. It's going to head over this high ground and might be able to find a little safe haven over here. Could end up coming into drop, but uh, yeah, that's on a shift click. That's definitely going to get taken out. That's a, that's a problem here for Rush. An EMP goes down on this for first Arbiter, but he does get a reasonable stasis, getting rid of one of the science vessels. At least taking it off the board for now. Big unseage here. It's going to prompt quickly to move uh, forward a bit, but this is a 200-200 rush. He has so many units here. Quickly doesn't totally want to engage this head on. It's 1-1 one, one only. And we're quickly approaching that 2-2. So if quickly takes the engagement right now, it might be a bit of a counter timing or an anti timing for Rush. Rush moving to match this counter attack. As he does have a base down here. And if he was to lose that base at 6 o'clock right now, he might stand a, there, there's a pretty good chance he might go out of this game. Oh, he dodged that EMP as well. 
That EMP hit a bunch of these zealots. Wasn't quite able to hit that Arbiter though. Maybe he can get a big stasis over here on this big clump of tanks. This big clump of tanks right there would be a perfect target. Oh my God, look at how many he can get here. Ooh, that stasis is insane. Quickly getting into a very nice position now. I think he's honestly outplaying uh, Rush with these moves so far, but he won't be able to deny this base. I just hope he has another recall lined up for this area because if he gets onto this base, it's going to force Rush into some very difficult decision making because his money is just about finished in both these two bases he needs this he needs it so so badly however if he spreads out like let's take a look at this map let's zoom right out if you can hold like for example this area here and this area here you can cover all of these lanes and if you can cover all of those lanes oh my goodness he's actually gonna get by with this these two goliaths oh that was huge that was absolutely massive. He could split the map in half is what I was trying to say, but that Arbiter getting picked off was insanely big. Rush is going to be able to push forward without the fear of a counter recall into his base. That's an amazing stasis on the front line, though. Some storms are going to come down on these front tanks. The back tanks, though, are very, very deep. There's so many of them back there. Sometimes it's way better to actually stasis the tanks in the back so you can clean up the front. But now these tanks are actually in a bit of a awkward position for quickly blocking his way forward. And his ability to uh, attack and assault those back tanks. Now the, the goons over here are actually going to get picked off by just pure vulture. The army is looking way too big for rush and quickly is very soon going to be falling apart here. I keep trying not to use the word quickly. He's going to jump on top of this. This is a great move by quickly diving on top of these tanks. Need to think of some more adjectives for things that go fast. But Rush, also something that goes fast, going to be heading over towards that 12 o'clock and breaking down the door. Some zealots here to maybe try and break these tanks, but reinforcements are coming up and his army is coming from behind. He's going to pincer this little force out on the map from quickly and he's really struggling to get another army in place, though he does have two different rally points. He's got the top right and the top left. He's got a lot of money to work with, especially having that all important main base in the top right to mine from. That's going to last for a very long time. Whereas Rush has just been relegated to two base economy, which is about to be one base economy. If he can't find another location to replace his main now, finally taking a big fight here quickly, committing onto these tanks and trying to clean up as many of them as he can. Meanwhile, army moving through the middle of the map is picking off some isolated little groups of tanks. And although the Nexus did fall at 12 o'clock, this army is getting cleaned and this represents a large portion of the main battle army. Those all important tank counts have been somewhat reset. We should see quickly rise in that supply very fast with haste, post haste. See, I'm doing it, guys. Rushing over here to the top right hand corner, a great EMP casted by him. But the army here to the east or to the west, excuse me, looking scary. What is this? Six tanks. Some of them on low HP are trying to hold ground just in front of the top right base. An all important expansion down here in the bottom right hand corner is nearly undefended, but can quickly get down there with an arbiter to shut that down. And will that prompt rush into a massive counterattack, knowing that there's not much army behind, left behind? Oh god, this late siege could be deadly. Great job with that stasis, hitting one of the all important tanks and getting rid of the easy detection here for rush. Surrounding this army quickly is cleaning up. Is in fact getting ahead in supply now, and rush is struggling to put another army together. 
He's got a bunch of tanks here in the middle that he failed to bring along with this. And so quickly we'll clear out everything. At the same time, finding this base in the bottom right-hand corner is massive intel. Quickly going to have to make a move on that position here as soon as possible. Oh, that storm just killed five tanks in the army. Absolutely brutal. As the rush tries to push forward here once again towards the space. I think it's time to split the map rush. I think it's time to take a, take a hint here. You're not going to be able to break into the top right. We have to secure this base. Try to get set up here so that recalls can't make their way down and ruin our mining only two bases are mining right here he's gonna float another command center over from here try to get this base online but i'm really afraid for him we could see an arbiter fly through at any moment quickly getting another arbiter out so many have died this game he really doesn't have any out on the field which is a seriously a large problem right now he's got double stargate but he hasn't been producing non-stop i can tell you that much if he had double double stargate full-time production he absolutely would have multiple unused arbiters at this time but he just hasn't been able to afford it with his gas and mineral income he's finally made one uh reach this right hand side he's gonna send it through now let's see if he can get that critical recall on the base and shut this one down rush has no defense over here other than a couple of scattered turrets not enough to stop a recall such as this i don't think that rush is going to be able to see this either he does see that coming through very important moment here as he sends his army down to respond the arbiter is staying still i really thought he would have pulled the trigger on this immediately but now it's too late rush is wise to this and he is not going to let it sit immediate emp there i think quickly making a serious error in judgment not sending that in immediately as soon as it was spotted by the vulture you only have mere seconds to get down here and land that recall uh, before rush reacts and he didn't take that time he didn't take that hint instead it just stopping and waiting and now he's in a position where he doesn't have those important stasis or he doesn't have all the all important stasis or that recall to sort of throw rush off and find a way to fight this massive army we're 3-3 three, three, 200 200 rush can take this fight head on all day quickly cannot afford a transaction like that he absolutely needs to find a way to circumvent that whether that be with spells well basically yeah there's nothing else what what else do we have it's spells we need spells where are the spells another emp goes off bunch of zealots end up getting eviscerated 192 supply eight supply just went down more tanks more goliaths popping out here he's filling out his army with even stronger units than he had before Another EMP is likely to go down. It hits the Arbiter here. And quickly with a majority Zealot force. Oh my goodness. Look at the tanks. And the positioning here is unbeatable. Honestly, how are you going to break into that with Zealots? That is so many tanks. This position is fantastic. Rush really utilizing the map with beauty and grace and look at the army just evaporate 30 supply gone in a second only three tanks replacing that so he lost you know six supply maximum he's immediately going to replace it army is trying to move around this but the arbiters have just been emp too many times and i think this is a great example of why the Arbiter play has become kind of old hat in this matchup. The fact that Terran players are just so good with their vessel control and getting EMPs on everything. Every single Arbiter is going to have a hard time avoiding them. Some storms going down here. He absolutely needs those to make this work. Big stasis in the back line. Is going to give him a bit of a chance here quickly. He's maybe not got enough army, though, to push through a great 
uh, D Matrix there on the front, and there's just too many tanks to bust the position. More zealots are rallying out. Another arbiter hits the field, but he needs to clear this tank number, and even more than that, he needs to get to bottom right and deny some bases. It's just not going to be possible with Rush splitting the map like this. We're struggling a little bit too hard right now. And Rush is just going to track down this army, man. He is going to follow this and probably finish off all of these Dragoons and Zealots. Actually, Dragoons get up on high ground there. Ooh, what's this? Gets on top of some tanks that were left behind. Rush making a bit of an error himself. I think this was the five tanks that were stasis earlier. He leaves those behind. And quickly has done a good job of drawing him into this base in bottom right. He's opened up the map for himself. He can come through now and clear. Although he doesn't have an observer. That is a really big problem. Running into mines right now. This army is already so efficient for the Terran player. Walking into mines. Just making it that much easier for him. Big stasis on a lot of tanks. But the tanks are kind of blocking for the Protoss units, not allowing them to get by onto that back line. Some probes making their way over here to center left. Going to secure just slightly more than half the map now. But this is a very easy push distance from the natural of Rush. He can very quickly move his army or even a small group of army over to this position to just shut down this mining quickly. Not going to last much longer in this game if present circumstances continue he needs a huge win here to be able to take down rush and i just don't see rush giving it to him look at the numbers of vessels we've managed to increment out here for rush at this point a missed emp may not be as big uh, as it seems there are still so many vessels available so much energy on these to work with some decent storms go down. We're back to maxed out once again. I'm quickly going to throw down some very nice storms on a good chunk of these zealots. Another night or uh, of these vultures, excuse me. Another nice storm there. On some of these vultures, getting rid of that number. A lot of these tanks are pretty low. He's going to siege up right in the... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. This could be it. This could be what quickly needed. Rush getting way too aggressive with his tanks and not enough vultures were left over after all those storms. A lot of these tanks are going down, boys. A lot of these tanks are going to fall and quickly suddenly seizing a bit of this initiative. He can start to push everything back. There's a shining light of hope here for quickly in this game state. Another amazing stasis here on the back line. Another great storm as well. As the majority of these get cleaned up. These last remaining resources of Rush are being pushed back. He's going to move into position with the rallied units to cover these tanks. Some of the uh, science vessels are being picked off as well, which is opening up more opportunities for Arbiters to, to do things here. We've got so many Arbiters. We've got four Arbiters now finally really picking up with that production. You can see two more on the way. And already, what is this? Five Arbiters on the field? That is a scary number. We could get in here and, and recall this base, by the way. It's not impossible. Looks like quickly actually going to head down towards bottom right. He's trying to make a trade with Rush. He says, okay, you can kill my center left, but I'm going to send my entire army down here to the bottom right and see if you can handle that. Bring in his Arbor Arbiters over here. His... Dragoon's going to clear out a lot of this stuff. Got one science vessel. Wishes he could get an EMP off, but doesn't look like he'll be able to. Ooh, that was a great EMP, though. We've got one more Arbiter here. Another great stasis. We've still got enough for another 100. Oh, he only gets two tanks there. Not a lot of this army is actually going down, even though he has... What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tanks in stasis. Quickly is still not over able to overwhelm that army. He's put together another quickly assembled army here. And I did it again, but he's pushing forward. Trying to overcome this position. That storm. Oh my god. 
unbelievable storm there. Can he hold this spot? Oh, dude, the tanks are unthawing. We don't have any more storms left. Looks like an EMP hit all this. One more stasis. He's going to restasis these tanks, but does he have the muscle to push this down? These Arbiters are getting relatively low, and the tanks are trading out well. The Dragoons have killed a lot of these tanks, but reinforcements are arriving. Two of the Science Vessels were picked off. Can quickly do it here, pulling the mines in. Can he just get one mine to connect? He can't. And the reinforcements of Rush will push everything back one more time. We've almost got enough energy for another stasis, but it's not quite there at this time. And Rush holds. He holds. The 11th hour, he holds. 140 supply to 160. One Arbiter. Oh, he's got two Arbiters over here with full energy. What are we doing? Quickly put those aside for safekeeping, but they are maybe what could have turned that fight. Imagine four more stasis is in that fight. Would that have made the difference? Quickly gotta be banging his head against the wall after recognizing that two Arbiters were left behind in that all important last battle. Doesn't have too many probes over here. Really should transfer a greater proportion to that top right hand corner it's still got quite a bit of minerals left over i say that but there's like a hundred minerals in that there's another good storm clearing out some of this but these arbiters are just about out of energy is he gonna go for the recall seems like he might coming down here in towards bottom right they're gonna go for this base bottom left base high ground there's nothing over here would be a very good move. Bunch of Dragoons going to be recalled. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what is he doing? Just going to stasis and die. Well, that is unfortunate. So many Templar coming forward right now. There should be some EMPs to meet this quickly. Going to pull. try to do one last maneuver here. Man, if he had recalled a bunch of these Templar onto that high ground, I feel like he could have held that. But GG is called GG, yo. A gentleman in the end quickly taps out and Rush takes this game away. Very good rallying from Rush. If I'll say anything about Rush's play in this game, the rallying was insane. Absolute professional level macro during every stage of these fights he's just constantly pumping out units and getting them to the front as soon as possible oh it's gonna kill me and i'm sure it's eating rush up from the inside out what if he had brought those two arbiters for that last fight that fight right here where it seemed like he was just about to break rush and the rallies kept coming in. Imagine if he had just been able to stasis those and clean up the packs of tanks as they unthawed. Would we have seen a quickly victory? It felt like Rush was incredibly solid, continuing to produce these science vessels all game, landing EMPs, but quickly played a fantastic game as well. And if not for that one mistake, what could have happened differently? I'm still absolutely mind boggled that we didn't bring this arbiter up to the front either we had two arbiters here sitting here forever with full energy and he brought one of them but he didn't bring the other it's gonna hold that one in reserve for next game i guess anyways guys oh yeah there's two more popping out here as well what were you gonna do with those quickly i don't think you were gonna win the game with those last two arbiters but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I got exactly what I wanted here, and I hope you did too. A nice long game on kickback between a great Terran and an awesome up-and-coming Protoss player. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.